Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit, and here we have been asked to find the output voltage. So if you observe this circuit, then here we have the capacitive transducer. So as you can see, here the gap between the two parallel plates is changing with the time, and its variation can be given by this expression. That means here its capacitance is also changing with the time. So here we have been asked to find the output voltage at T is equal to two millisecond. So if you observe the circuit, then it is basically the differentiator circuit. Now typically, if you see the open-based differentiator circuit, then in that circuit, the input voltage is changing with the time, while the value of the capacitor is fixed. So in that circuit, if I C is the current through the capacitor, and if the op-amp is ideal, then we can say that. This capacitive current I C is equal to zero minus V out divided by R F. So if the op amp is the ideal op amp, then this node will act as a virtual ground. And since no current is flowing into the op amp terminal, so this current should also be equal to I C. That means in that case, this I C is equal to minus V out divided by R F. And as you know, this current I C is equal to D Q divided by dt that is the rate of change of charge and as you know this q is equal to cv so we can say that this current ic is equal to d by dt times cv and if the capacitor is not changing with the time then this current ic is equal to c times dv divided by dt that means in that circuit this output voltage v out is equal to minus rf times c times dv divided by dt because in that circuit this input voltage is the function of time but if you observe this circuit then here this input voltage is the fixed value while the capacitance is changing with the time because if you see the expression of the capacitor then this c is equal to epsilon a divided by d and in this case if you see then here the distance between the two plates is changing with the time that means here This capacitance is also changing with the time. So for the given circuit, if we write the same expression, then this current I C is equal to d divided by d t times C V. And in this case, since the input voltage is of fixed value, so we can say that this current I C is equal to V times d divided by d t times C, and that will be equal to zero minus V out divided by R F. That means for the given circuit, this output voltage V out is equal to minus R F times V times D C divided by D T. And further, if we put the value of C, then we can say that this output voltage is equal to minus R F times V times epsilon A times D by D T times one by D. Because here both epsilon and the area of the capacitor are fixed. That means the output voltage V out can be given as minus R F times V times epsilon times A times D divided by D T times one over D T. So here we have been given that the distance between the two plates can be given as ten to the power minus three times one plus point one times sine of one thousand pi T. So this is the expression of the dt. So now let us differentiate this expression and let us find the output voltage V out at T is equal to two millisecond. That means here this output voltage V out is equal to minus R F times V times epsilon A times d divided by d t times one over d t. So further it can be written as minus R F times V times Epsilon a times minus one divided by d of t whole square times d divided by d t times this d of t, and that is equal to ten to the power minus three times this one plus point one times sine thousand pi t. So first of all, let us differentiate this expression, and then after. We will put the value of this R F V as well as the D of T. 
that means this v out is equal to minus rf times v times epsilon a times this 1 divided by v of t whole square times 10 to the power minus 3 times 0.1 times the differentiation of this sign that is equal to cos of 1000 pi t and further the differentiation of this 1000 pi t is equal to 1000 pi so in the numerator after the differentiation we will have all these terms so now let us put the value of this rf v as well as the d of t but here we also need to know the value of this epsilon a so to get this value we have been given that this capacitance c is equal to 2 picofarad at t is equal to 0 millisecond so we know that this c is equal to epsilon a divided by d and here this d can be given as 10 to the power minus 3 times 1 plus 0 0.1 times sine of 1000 pi t so in this expression if we put the value of t is equal to 0 then we can easily find the value of the epsilon a and as you know the sine of 0 is equal to 0 that means this c is equal to this epsilon a divided by 10 to the power minus 3 times 1 plus 0 or we can say that this epsilon a is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 times 2 picofaraday that is equal to 2 times 10 to the power minus 15 and its unit is equal to faraday dot meter so this is the value of the epsilon a so let us put this value of the epsilon a in the earlier expression and let us find the output voltage at t is equal to 2 millisecond so in this expression this rf is equal to 1 mega ohm while the value of v is equal to 5 volt so if you put all these values then this output voltage v out can be written as 1 mega ohm times 5 volt times 2 times 10 to the power minus 15 and further we will have this 10 to the power minus 4 times 10 to the power 3 times pi times cos of 1000 pi t and in the denominator we will have this d of t square and that is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 times 1 plus 0 0.1 times sine of 1000 pi t whole square so in this expression if you put t is equal to 2 millisecond then this cos of this 1000 pi t is equal to cos of 2 pi and that is equal to 1 similarly the sine of 1000 pi t will become sine of 2 pi and that is equal to 0 that means this will be the two values of the cos and sine at t is equal to 2 millisecond so if we put these two values of sine and cos then further this expression can be written as this v of t is equal to this 10 to the power 6 times 5 times 2 times 10 to the power minus 15 times 10 to the power minus 1 times pi divided by 10 to the power minus 6 times 1 plus 0 so that is equal to 10 to the power 13 times 10 to the power minus 16 and here we will also have this pi or if we further simplify it then we can write it as this pi times 10 to the power minus 3 volt or we can say that at t is equal to 2 millisecond this output voltage is equal to pi millivolt so from this we can say that this output voltage v out at 2 millisecond is equal to pi millivolt and therefore for the given question this b is the correct answer